Hello, everyone. How are you? I pray that everybody's doing well and blessed on this day. This is a day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, brothers and sisters, and be glad in it. One more day upon the earth. God is truly good with everything going on. We are truly blessed to be alive and well and to see another day upon God's earth. Brothers and sisters, praise God. I will not be before you long, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to come and give you a scripture verse um, to encourage you to know that we are close to the return of the Lord Jesus Christ to rapture his church. No man knows the day nor the hour, brothers and sisters. But as you can see, we are in the season of the return of Jesus Christ to rapture his church, to catch his people away. Caught up is the word the word of God uses, caught up. And I wanted to come and give you the scripture that talks about us being caught up for the Lord to come and receive us unto himself as he promised that he would do. Okay, brothers and sisters. So I'm going to read this scripture. You can read along with me. It is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 to 18, and I'm reading from the King James Version in the Bible, okay? So the word of the Lord reads, starting at uh, verse 13, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall arise first. Hallelujah. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Hallelujah. Praise God for his word. Hallelujah. This is good news, brothers and sisters. We have something to look forward to. Praise God. Hallelujah. That we shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. God's promises are true, brothers and sisters. If he said it in his word, it shall come to pass. Okay, so look up, be encouraged, for the Lord Jesus Christ will come and receive us unto himself. Those of us who are ready, those of, who have, of us who have made a relationship with the Lord, those of us who have uh, given our lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, and we have repented of our sins. And Jesus, hallelujah, will come and receive us unto himself, as he said. So look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Okay? I just wanted to come and give you that word, brothers and sisters. And I pray that it encourages you and blesses you to look up and know that the Lord will be coming for his church, for those of us who have made ourselves ready without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is so good and he is so faithful. Brothers and sisters, be encouraged. Look up for your redemption draweth nigh. That is in Luke 21 and 28. Look up for your redemption draweth nigh. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good and he loves you. Never forget that Jesus loves you. He loves you so much that he would die for your sins. He died for the sins of the whole world. God is truly good. Or John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son 
that whoever believeth upon him shall never die, but shall have eternal life. And the word of God is true, brothers and sisters. So be encouraged. Look up for your redemption draweth nigh. And I pray in Jesus' name that we all will make it one day and see each other in glory with the Lord. Hallelujah. We have something to look forward to. Okay, so be blessed. Have a blessed day and be encouraged and look up for your redemption draweth nigh. Until we talk again, have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. God bless. God bless.